eight contamination covers. These covers protect the ceiling surface on node three where it mates to the space station. Here you can see Bob stowing one of those covers in his trash bag. And the main goal here is to get node three ready to be unberthed from the payload bay so that it can be safely mated to the space station. While Bob is removing the covers, and Nick will be releasing a heater power cable that's routed from the space shuttle over to Node 3. This is going to provide heater power to Node 3 from launch until its berth to Node 1 port. Nick will take this cable, coil it up, and stow it in the tool stowage assembly, uh, which is a toolbox that's outside of the shuttle. Here you can see Nick uh, at that TSA or tool stowage assembly. From there, both crew members will head back to the station and they'll pre-stage two EVA bags in preparation for EVA number two. This will allow them to go straight to work uh, when they come out of the hatch for EVA two. Bob and Nick will then translate up to the MT or mobile transporter uh, where they'll begin work on Dexter. Uh, Dexter is a Canadian robot that has the capability of changing out components outside of space station. They'll be removing the ORU temporary platform which is used to stow these components during a changeout. Uh, this will make way for the new enhanced version of this platform uh, that can provide heater power to those components. It will launch on ULF-4. Here you can see the crew members releasing one of the five bolts that's required to remove the OTP from Dexter. Once they get it removed, they'll put it onto one of their EVA tethers and they'll translate to the zenith aft side of S0 and there we have a special tray called the HAB tray that has a convenient set of handrails that lend itself to tying this OTP down. One end of the OTP will be fastened with a bolt that's captive to OTP. You can see here in its uh, final resting place. Uh, and then the other end will be stowed with an EVA tether that's rated to stay outside for an extended period of time. You can see Nick cinching that tether in place here. From there, both crew members will move to their final task for this EVA. Uh, Node 3 should be in place at this point as it was relocated from the shuttle payload bay uh, using the station robotic arm. Uh, Bob's task will be to mate a series of power and data cables that were pre-routed on 17A. He'll be connecting them over to Node 3. Uh, his first task will be to move, remove a series of thermal blankets uh, that protect the connectors on the node three side. Here you can see Bob removing that blanket and he will stow that into an EVA trash bag. He'll then remove a series of caps. Uh, you can see here that we've actually tied the caps together so that uh, they don't have to tether to each cap individually. As you know, in EVA, we want to tether to everything we handle uh, to avoid it uh, inadvertently floating off. Bob will then start to mate the series of connectors. There are two sets of cables. There's a channel 1-4 and the channel 2-3. Uh, these represent redundant strings that are going to be routed from node 1 over to node 3. Here you can see both sets put in place. Uh, because the node 3 cooling system is not in place yet, uh, we won't be activating and we won't be using these power cables at this time. And we'll wait until everything is put in place on EVA2 uh, to begin the activation process. Uh, therefore, Nick will be connecting what we call launch to activation cables. Uh, these are heater cables uh, that are going to provide heater power to node 3 uh, to keep it thermally controlled until activation during EVA2. These cables were launched in place on node 3 and were held in place by a series of clamps. Nick will release those clamps and then mate the cables uh, over to node 1. With that, Bob and Nick will start their cleanup process. Uh, they'll gather all the tools that they brought outside and translate back to the U.S. joint airlock. Uh, that will complete EVA-1. Uh, they'll have one day in between EVA-1 and 2 uh, to, for preparations. Uh, for EVA-2, the main purpose of EVA-2 is to route the ammonia lines that go from the lab to